Eyewitness News. A long holiday weekend for many brings with it the potential for danger on the roads. Tonight we're hearing from state police on the number of DUI arrests made over the past three days. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian talked with the state police tonight. She joins us now with more on what they had to say about this weekend's numbers that are both good and bad. Kim is live now with the mobile newsroom. Kim. Well, Mike, that's right. As this Memorial Day weekend draws to a close, state police tell us that the number of DUI arrests this year versus last year is up, but the number of overall crashes is down. Rhode Island State Police out in full force this long weekend, beefing up patrols in the name of keeping people safe this Memorial Day. So our goal this holiday weekend is to reduce accidents. And in doing so, hopefully we reduce fatalities. So, yeah, we, we handled 50 accidents as opposed to 67, I believe, over the same time period last year. And while the number of crashes is down compared with this time last year, the number of people being charged with DUI is up. Corporal Franklin Navarro says last year state police arrested five people for driving under the influence. This Memorial Day weekend, there have been nine arrests. He credits increased patrols. We're out there, marked, unmarked vehicles, just increasing our efforts, focusing uh, on strict enforcement. He also says people calling in to report erratic drivers has been a big help and encourages you to dial 911 if you see dangerous driving. Holiday weekends are notorious for an uptick in drunk driving, but Navarro says it's not exactly surprising. People relax, you know, and they take time to, to spend time with family and friends, and they don't think that it could happen to them. But he reminds folks it can happen to you. So if you've been drinking, do not get behind the wheel. There's so many different ways of getting home safely. And remember, it, it's not just about you. It's the impact that it has on everyone else. And if you don't think that Rhode Island State Police are out patrolling every single corner of the state, Navarro says you are mistaken. As an example, he tells me one of those nine DUI arrests from over the weekend happened out on Block Island. Reporting live in East Providence tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.